everyone, I'm Dummy and today I'm gonna bring you popular books I haven't read. first one, it's gonna be a very controversial book because it's just like a classic, a classic. And it's Lord of the Rings by R.R. Tolkien. I just haven't read this because it just intimidates me so much. It, it's just, I tried starting once and the descriptions were just too much for me. Too much for me. It's, I had to drop it. I, I I was too afraid of reading it. Just oh, too much. Too much. That doesn't mean I don't want to try and read it. Maybe in the future. But I, I just have to build up some courage to go and tackle it down. The second one is also a very well-known series, just, I just, I don't know, I just haven't been in the mood for it, and it's Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. For this one, I really, really, really want to read it before the year ends, I just, I have it in, even here. I haven't, I, the problem was that I hadn't heard of it. Before this year, like a friend said that she bought it, she read it, she loved it, and I just haven't been in the mood for reading it. She lent it to me because that's why I I can't read it. But I really, really, really want to read it before the year ends because I just heard so amazing things about it that it really intrigues me. I just haven't been in the mood for it. You know? Like reading moods, you know. The next one, it's an author that I really want to read, I just really don't know why I haven't picked up anything from her. And it's Rainbow Rowell, I, that means I haven't read Fangirl, Eleanor Park, Landline, all Carry On, all of those popular books, just haven't read them, just, I don't know why, I just haven't bought them, haven't had the opportunity to go and take this book on. I just... Uh, there just haven't been the opportunity. I really want to read them. They intrigue me so much. They just... I don't, I don't know. Uh, there is not really an explanation for this one. The next one is Throne of Glass. And sincerely, I just started hearing about this series this year like the first book came to Chile like this year <laughs> I don't think that there's the second one is here yet so you know when you, I've been seeing it around and just encounter it recently so I found out that's a really popular book and I just have to read it I gifted it to a friend and she loved it like loved it and her sister too loved it so they lent it to me so I can read it and you know Sarah J Maas is just a really well-known author so I've read uh, Court of Thorns and Roses and loved it and I just um, I need to read Throne of Glass like I have it there just waiting for me to read it to tackle it on to eat it so yeah I haven't read it, but my plans are on reading it also this year. The next one, it's also another one that intrigues me so much. Just, there's no, not many of this genre in, in here, in, like in my country, I, or else I don't know where to find them, or like, they're really expensive. And I don't know if they're even here. Like I've heard of it of uh, out on booktube and it intrigues me. Like I really want to read it, but I don't think I can get it if it's not online. And just I have to go and get it. And it's Saga by 
by Brian K. Vaughan. Vaughan? Something in between there. And it's, you know, a graphic novel that just sounds amazing. Like, I really want to read that. And, you know, I have to go and get it. No, not really an excuse for this one either. I really want to read it, and I just haven't because, you know, I'm weird. The next one, it's also fantasy. And it's just, you know, so intriguing. Like, I've heard so amazing things about it. I just really want to read it. It's a big book, so it's like intimidating also. That's why I haven't read it, but I just want to. Again, with the need of building courage. But my friends also are discouraging me for reading this series because like, they have waited forever for the next book to come and they just like now are giving up on hope that there will be a next book and they're just like oh don't read it why are you gonna do that to yourself no don't but it's so good but don't and it's like oh I wanna read it so much and it's in the name of the wind by Patrick Thor Rothfuss? Rothfuss I'm horrible with names give me one second Patrick Rothfuss, Rothfuss, butchering the name. Good job, me. So, yeah, that's like, ah, oh, the feelings with this book, like, too many feelings for this book, and I haven't even read it yet, so, you see, easy. The next one, like, I have an excuse because of why I haven't read it and it's like 1 into 2 now yay me uh, and it's the Dark Artifices and the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare and I just haven't read this because I haven't finished the Mortal Instruments and I won't finish the Mortal Instruments series before I go on with this other two I don't know why I haven't finished the Moral Instruments. I just have been putting it off, just not wanting to end the story. Like, these characters and things that happened, the feelings they made me feel, I don't want that to be over. So, yeah, I have, I'm in book five. I have, like, I have to read book five and then six. And, you know, like, I want to do a readathon read of the last two books, like, a weekend readathon, maybe, or something like that, maybe a week, you know, because with college and stuff, and I'm just, I'm, I have to decide if I want to make either a weekend readathon, maybe, like, soon enough, or a week readathon where I tackle those two books and then start with the I lost the name Infernal Devices because I have the first book I have I have it a friend gave it me so I just have it there waiting for me and yeah that's what's gonna happen soon those are my plans so guys that's all the popular, no, not all of them, like some of them, uh, the popular series that I haven't read. Uh, hope you like the video. Hope I see you soon. Bye.